Good morning and welcome to The Locker Room. Coach Ack here and today's message is drive the car. It should be called please drive the car or you're going to kill both of us, but that title seemed like it would be a little too long. A few days ago, I was at a red light when I glanced in the mirror and noticed the woman behind me putting on makeup. My very first reaction was to be impressed that she was gonna try to do this in the 30 seconds that the light was red. She had lipstick in one hand, she had mascara in the other hand, and she looked like she'd done this before. The light turned green. Her car started rolling towards mine, and her eyes were still squarely on the mirror her hands were still full of cosmetics. Imagine my horror as I tried to speed away from the light, but I was boxed in by the car in front of me. Fortunately, I was able to escape because she didn't really hit the gas hard until her blush was set or whatever she was doing. But as I breathed the sigh of relief, the episode brought to mind the mantra to always be where you are. In an age of distraction, technology, multitasking, and high demands at every turn. It's natural to try to be in two places at once. But much like driving no-handed while looking at ourselves is physically dangerous, not being where you are will hurt you in all kinds of ways. Today, I want all of you to tune in during your conversations with people. When you're talking to someone, leave your phone in your pocket. Yes, even when it rings, buzzes, sings, or otherwise screams for your attention. The person in front of you deserves your focus. Our relationships are crucial to our happiness and success in life, and we allow ourselves to take them for granted by mentally disappearing to another place when we should be right where we are. Don't try to do too many things at the same time. Focus on what's in front of you. Worrying about your chores while you're at work or worrying about work while you're at the grocery store is only going to lead your kids to eating a spreadsheet for dinner and your boss wondering why you turned in your grocery list instead of the report they asked for. We underestimate how much this behavior hurts us. How insulted do we feel when in the middle of a conversation, the other person starts working on an email? Like, what if I'm doing this locker room and I just... I mean, it's really amazing. I'll admit that there are times where I get distracted, but it's crucial that we remember the classic Stephen Stills song, Love the one you're with. So don't try to shave while you're driving or change clothes or build a computer. Focus on the task at hand. Two hands on the wheel, eyes on the road. Do that the best you can and give people your full attention. When you do this, for sure, you'll be living your very best life. Thanks for joining me today in the locker room, guys. We'll see you back here real soon. Make it an amazing day. If you've enjoyed and feel The Daily Locker Room has served as an inspiration in your life, why not share it with a friend by sending them the daily message?